Hey guys, this is Drew here from the Big Tex Urban Farms. And I know a lot of us are kind of cooped up at home, working from home, and the kiddos are homeschooling right now and might be looking for uh, some projects and things that we can do as a family, right? Um, so today I want to teach you a little bit about growing microgreens and how you can do it, how easily you can do it in your home. Um, it's a great project to do with kids. It's very easy to do. Um, they're really fun to, to watch them grow. And best of all, they're super nutrient dense. They're beautiful to look at. And they're also really, really flavorful. Um, they call these, you know, these are one of the super foods, you know, and I think this is the, the best of all of them because they have so much nutrition in such a tiny package. So if you're not really familiar with what microgreens are, it's basically just an immature version of a full size vegetable. And the way you grow them, you're gonna sow the seed super dense, germinate the seed, um, and grow it out for usually only about seven to 10 days. And then you harvest them, and then they're ready to, to, to be consumed at that point. And like I say, at that stage of, of growth, they're just packed, super packed with uh, micronutrients and everything that are. Um, there's a ton of good research out there if you're interested in learning more about the health benefits of eating these things um, Just jump on Google and do a search for them. So let's get growing guys um, Let me show you uh, a couple of different really easy ways that you could do this inside your home. So Check this out. So this is just a, the bottom half of a snap lid uh, storage container that I know we probably all have like 400 of laying around in our kitchen somewhere, right? So I'm just using this one here today. Um, it's been filled up with potting soil. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Whatever kind of soil you can get um, will work just fine. And I've already pre-moistened this, okay? I just used that little shower thingy that uh, everyone has in their sink, you know, um, to, to moisten the soil down. You could just water it with a cup if you want to. Um, next, you're going to need to plant the seed. So when I'm growing these in my greenhouse at the Big Tex Urban Farms, I like very carefully measure and weigh out the seeds. But at home, there's really no need to do that. I'm just filling up a cup here, right? And then you're just going to evenly distribute a thin layer of seeds across the, uh, the soil surface. You want them to, you know, use a fair amount. You want them to be touching almost. A very thin, even layer. There, that looks pretty good right there. Um, then you want to add water to them. This is the best way to do this so you don't mess the seeds up and don't get water all over your house. Just use a little spray bottle. Again, you could do it with a cup. There you go. Just adds a, enough moisture to get these seeds germinating. Um, then... We're gonna cover this over with a paper towel. By the way, these are radish microgreens. I'll talk a little bit more about the different varieties. That's what we're growing here today. So we're gonna cover this whole dude over with a paper towel. And then one more time, we're gonna give it a spritz. Make sure it's nice and damp. Not, not too wet, but you want to make sure everything is nice and damp. That moisture is real important to uh, getting the seeds to germinate properly. There, that looks really good right there. You can put this wherever you have room. You know, we use a lot of fancy LED lighting at the Big Tex Urban Farms in my greenhouse. You don't need that for microgreens, especially not for the home level. I'm going to add a tad bit more water. There you go. Um, they're gonna grow just fine. So anywhere you have you have space for them on a kitchen counter is a really great place for them. Um, and this paper towel, you're gonna keep in place for about three days usually, okay? Um, and this is one of my favorite parts and one of the parts that the kiddos are gonna really love. As the baby plants start germinating, they're literally gonna push this whole paper towel up as they start to grow. It's super fun to watch. Um, at that point, at three days into the grow, you can go ahead and you know carefully remove the paper towel, and then you're gonna need to start watering your microgreens. Um, I just use them, again, I would just use a, fill a cup up with water and just do one of these, you know, just 
very gently. You don't need to keep your soil super damp, um, but they do need some moisture. Um, again, it's gonna, radish microgreens, you're gonna wanna grow these for about seven, maybe eight days, and then you're gonna harvest them, okay? And just a second, I'm gonna show you what a full size radish microgreen looks like. I just so happen to have a tray of them here handy. So, this is a really great option. This is a really nice way to grow microgreens inside. There's no drainage holes in this. You don't need them in this case. I know that's normally kind of a plant no-no, but with microgreens, that's fine. Um, and so you're not getting water all over the place. It's just really handy. And then you're gonna get a fair amount in a snap lid container of this size. Even something like this, you're gonna get a fair amount of microgreens out of them. So if you wanted to do something a little bit more fancy and maybe a little bit more attractive uh, that you could even use as a center centerpiece, check this out. Look at this little setup right here, man. This is just a, a glazed decorative pot um, full of potting soil. Again, I've pre-moistened the soil inside of this. Um, and now it's just sitting on top of a drip pan, okay? So... Very similar process to how we did with the, the, the first way, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and plant my seeds. All right, same thing. Pretty dense, nice thin layer. Go ahead and water them in again, just like I did last time. This time we're gonna do something a little bit differently though. Um, because we're wanting to use this as a, a, a decorative piece, you know, it's something that you can use to be a, a little bit more attractive. Um, we're not going to do the paper towel. Um, this time we're just going to cover the seeds over with a little bit more potting soil that I have in here. All right. And that works just as well. And then again, one, one last time, we're going to go ahead and water them in. There we go. Easy enough. So again, in about seven days, you're gonna have a full size tray. Let me show you what that looks like. Don't go anywhere. Boom, look at this. This is obviously a little different container. This is what was called a 1020 tray. Um, and in another video, I'd like to show you how we grow these. This is how we grow them at my greenhouse at the Big Tex Urban Farms. Um, but look, these are just beautiful, aren't they? Um, Great. Again, this is a radish microgreen. There's a ton of different varieties out there, but last but not least, I want to tell you which ones that I think you should start with as a beginner. Um, there's three of them. There's this, radish. Then there's also pea shoots, which are really delicious and really easy to grow. And then also broccoli. Um, broccoli makes a great microgreen because it has properties that are uh, anti cancer they're they're cancer fighting uh chemical compounds inside of the microgreen um and they're also a very mild flavor so the pea shoots are kind of a sweet the the broccoli is just sort of a neutral kind of a mild and the radish definitely has some spice so if you like things a little bit more on the spicy side go with something like a radish um we're going to come out with some more information about these maybe even some recipe ideas um you can do them on anything i add them to sandwiches uh, wraps, soups, stews. I even use them on my salads every night. Um, again, this is just a really fun, really down and dirty project idea that you could do with the entire family. So hopefully this inspires you to, to get growing some micros in your home. And uh, we'd love to hear more about what you're doing with them once you get them growing. Peace guys, y'all be well out there.